In the tooling phase of a plastic product development cycle, there are many different processes available to make injection molds. Although most tooling is machined from solid metal, we found in some cases it is possible to save money and time using rapid tooling processes. Rapid tooling can be used to develop more innovative products in a shorter time while using fewer resources. However, each of the processes has some limitations. Some of the limiting factors in rapid tooling are the, that the machines are not as accurate as conventional tooling and they're not as reliable as conventional tooling. Those are the two major issues. As long as the conventional tool makers see those limitations, they have no use for those processes. Whereas you have the rapid prototyping people that don't have all the, the, the blinders on, so to speak, that the conventional tool makers have, they are willing to take those chances, and, but they reinvent the wheel in such a way that I have to do it 10 times different ways to prove something that the other guy already said it couldn't be done. However, as we will see, there are companies out there that forget about the conventional tooling methods and combine them and have shown tremendous success at, at these processes.